This is example 1.83, which is adding two harmonic forces with the same frequency. We can write the addition of two harmonic functions as a1 cosine of omega t plus a2 cosine of omega t. But we can also write it as a cosine of omega t minus a phase angle. If we apply our trigonometric expansion and, uh, of adding two angles, we can get a cosine omega t cosine of phi plus a sine omega t sine of phi. Now, if we make this a cosine of phi cosine of omega t and then a sine of phi sine of omega t, we can say that this is equals to a1 and this is equals to a2. Then we can write that a1 a1 is equals a cosine of phi and a2 is a sine of phi. So if we add those two together, we get a1 squared plus a2 squared is 1 a squared cosine of phi squared plus a squared sine of phi squared and you know that cosine of an angle squared plus sine of that angle squared becomes 1. Therefore, we have here that that amplitude a will be equal to the square root of a1 square plus a2 square. We can then also work with the phase angle. And if we divide these two expressions, a sine of phi divided by a cosine of phi, a cancel out and we have the tangent of phi will be equals to a2 divided by a1. Therefore, we see that the phase angle will be the inverse tangent a2 of a1. So we get to the conclusion that adding two harmonic functions of the same frequency can be written in terms of the adding the two expressions together or one expression of the harmonic force of cosine minus a phase angle. And these two expressions represent the same graph or the same function.